Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be using a small little spinner and the Mondo worm. Let's see what we can catch. Right off the bat, we are on a fish. First fish of the day. If you watch one of the previous videos where I went fishing in the woods, this rod is the one that had the reel break. So this reel is the new Guggen Squad reel. Uh, you can get it off their website, spinning reel. I, I'm not affiliated, but uh, that's the reel that I'm using. And so far, I'm liking it as a replacement for the one that broke. This is the favorite Guggen co combo, so I felt it was only right to replace it with a Guggen reel. The technique I found that seemed to be working was letting the spinner, rooster tail, whatever you want to call it, sink for a few seconds and then begin to reel so that it sat deeper in the water when I was reeling it because when I first cast it out, it, it's pretty light. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the weight on this one, but with a lighter bait, if you don't let it sink a little bit, you're just kind of dragging across the top. So I let it sink and that seemed to be where they were hitting it. Pretty bluegill. Pretty bluegill.
one thing I love about fishing a small little spinner like that is you get to catch a variety of species like this special one here. One of my favorites. Believe it or not, this actually worked at getting it out of the tree. So here I switched it up. I'm throwing the Mondo worm, uh, which is about a 10 inch curly tailed on the end worm. Um, it's actually really good for this time of year in the summer because the bass are just kind of lethargic and they're looking for something as like an easy meal that would be also pretty filling. Uh, and they, they really do love it. So I uh, figured I'd give it a try. He wanted that. Ooh. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. At least it wasn't a big fish. Oh, something got it. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I have a bait for y'all today that I would like to try. 
Now, this might be something that you've seen before. Uh, it's been out for a, quite a while now, but uh, not too long, maybe about a year. Uh, I haven't used it all that much, but I've owned it for about that much time. And uh, I think it, it's it's time to give it its due. It's uh, the conditions that most people would use a buzz bait in, I feel like. So this has a pretty erratic action. Um, this, I should have started off with, is called the Z-Man Hellraiser. Uh, obviously, razor with a Z on the end because it's made by Z-Man. Uh, it's a very interesting shape. It's flat on the nose here, and then it's got this doohickey on the back. And I will tell you, I've used it a little bit, and it really does go crazy in the water. Uh, this front here kind of makes it go back and forth, and obviously it has a rattle and that shine. Uh, let's see if I catch any fish with this. As you can see, a lot of action on top of the water. Unfortunately, uh, on this night, I was not able to make anything happen with the Z-Man Hellraiser. Uh, I really don't think the top of water bite was on because with its action with the treble hooks, I really do think this bait could catch fish, but uh, did not have success with it on this night. So anyways, uh, this is going to close out the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and suggest it to your friends. Grab a buddy next time you want to watch. I will see you in the next one.